Hey, what's going on guys? I wanted to do a quick video on measuring bolt patterns. A three hole bolt pattern like you see here, it's going to be hard to establish if these holes are in the correct location and actually on size and in relation to one, uh, one another as well. When there's no opposing point to reference, such as with the two holes you see on this vice jaw here, it can be a little bit more difficult. So let's start with something simple like a vice jaw. What you want to do to begin is measure the diameter of both holes. So this hole here measures 0.55 inches. And we'll measure the other side, 0.552. So we know that our number is, let's just say 0.551, right? So what we're gonna do is measure the distance across I want to acknowledge that a micrometer is much more accurate for measuring bolt patterns, but that also relies on you having perfectly sized pins to place into the holes. Obviously a caliper is not the most accurate measuring tool in the world, but this is going to get you extremely close. So 3.321. Now what we're going to do with that is we're going to take Set this down a second. 3.321, and we're going to add one bolt diameter. So we're going to say plus point, we said it was 551 equals 3.872. So let's set our caliper to 3.872. And let's see if that approximation looks correct. 3.8. This is a lot easier to do with the dial caliper, but it's a little harder to read for you on camera. All right, that's within five tenths. Let's lock that in. And let's look at it center to center. Does that look correct? A little hard to tell on the camera, but that looks right to me. If we actually hold an object center to center on that bolt pattern, it's right there. Now that's probably going to get you within about a thousandth of how far apart the center of these holes actually are. Now one thing you got to keep take account of at all times is are these holes actually round? When you're taking your measurement, you really have to ensure that the hole is round. If we measure this direction, what do we got? 0.5525. You need to do as many points as really your tolerance requires. If you require extremely precise hole locations, a good way to do it, if you don't have a probe on a machine like this, is to actually put something like a coaxial indicator inside of the hole and actually find the center, and you're gonna record that position. Then you're gonna to move to another position and you're gonna record that center. Record it, record it, and then you will be able to actually take those XY coordinates and form a little graph on where everything actually is, and that'll be as accurate as your machine, which is basically what a CMM does. But we're measuring manually. I just showed you how to do that. Now, if you wanted to find the distance to the edges of the hole, you would take that measurement and just like we just did, you're gonna take your measurement. I've got 0.423, and this is a good way to double check yourself the other direction, 0.425, 4.425. And we're gonna subtract 0.551, and what do we have, 3.874. Again, we're going to double check that. You see what we did? We just did the opposite. Instead of adding, we subtracted. 3.874 is what I just said, right? Really close. And we know that is correct because that's actually the spacing for a vice pull pattern. Now, what can we do when we get into a more difficult shape like this? pattern that is spaced every 120 degrees. Well, we can do things like 
we can measure from the outside. We can actually wiggle our calipers and we can try to find the smallest measurement possible. I'm getting 0.4415. Now I'm gonna do the same thing 100, 120 degrees out. 0.434. Try that again. 0.4415. Point four three eight. So what does that tell me? These are rough blanks that were machined and then they were placed into the vise. You have a fixed jaw in the rear and all these were placed in the same way. But where can the discrepancy come from? We should get the same measurement on all three points and you can do the same thing to the center hole here. When you have features that you can measure, I've got 0 0.231, trying to find the smallest number I can, 225. Be a little bit easier to measure if I wasn't reaching around at camera, but I, here I've got 0 0 0.2255. 0.225. This is pretty much perfect. I think that I might have been off a little bit when I was trying to measure out here, just reaching around the camera. But that just looked extremely good to me, which makes sense, because what did I do? I used my Renishaw probe, and I actually did all my measurement on this hole off of this center. So I didn't actually probe the outside, I probed the inside. And that can show you the difference between two surfaces, because this was actually, the OD was actually machined in one operation and the ID was machined in the other. That shows you the discrepancy between the OD and ID. When you machine everything in one go, you get a lot better accuracy. But that's a really good way to actually measure. So from when you're actually doing something like this, it helps if you had have CAD cam, it'll save you doing a whole lot of math to figure out your spacing, your pattern and everything. But if you actually write these numbers down, and plug them into CAD system real quick and draw points from center to center of each of these holes, draw a few circles and dimension them, you should start to see what your actual results are. 1.441 1 1.4415 yeah this is extremely accurate to the center of this hole here. The outside is not actually as true to these holes. So that's what we learned about this part through a couple minutes of inspection. And when you get this down, this concept is gonna be something where you're gonna be really fast at saying, all right, I wanna find center to center between these two holes. I'm gonna measure the width here, and then I know I need to add. And if I'm measuring from edge to edge, I need to subtract to get to the center. I hope that helps. It's really simple to do once you've done it a few times and that's how you can inspect bolt patterns by hand. You don't need a CMM, but it certainly does help. And I hope you guys like this video, share it, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.